Okay, you guys, we're, we're at the end of our project. Everybody's like a little bit squirrely Torf. at this point. <laughs> They're like, oh my gosh. Okay, so I take back the whole therapeutic thing. When you're doing it with kids or a bunch of kids, it's not as therapeutic, but it's still fun. Okay. All right, so what we're doing now is um, I scoped a little bit ago about um, how you get your designs on here with the wax and using these little um, Kitskas to draw with melted wax. This is the Kitska. And so now what we're doing is... Noah is done. Actually, there's still a bunch of wax on the side. I can feel it. So what we're doing now is we've got, what, six different colors on here, I think. And you can see, you can see that raised part. That's all wax. So what we need to do now is, Noah, I'll hold it if you can get the um, thing ready. So you just hold it to the side of a lit candle. You don't hold it above it. You don't hold it in the, the flame, you just hold it up to the flame. And then you can see when it's starting to, um, when the wax is starting to melt, it kind of gets kind of, you know, shiny and liquid looking. Um, let's see if you can see. So we can stuff on it. So I'm trying to get it melted for him. And then you just take a paper towel and quickly wipe it off okay quick quick and then you can kind of feel oh. and you can see whoopsie you can see that his other colors underneath the wax were revealed so the white the green there's sophia's the white the green the orange <laughs> sophie's um hi mel um so so that is how you get the other colors to come out and it's kind of time consuming. <laughs> it's really time consuming. Um, but it's also a really cool craft to do. Kind of a fun, um... okay, no, are you ready? Go. <laughs> Ouch, I'm gonna stick my hands in the... Stop, mom, just okay. stop, I got it. <laughs> okay, so this one's mine. <laughs> this one's mine. I did this one, it just has two colors because I knew I was gonna be helping the kids. So, um, this one, I just kind of did a design with a flower and it's obviously not perfect. And you can see, let's see if you can see, see where it's kind of raised up a little bit? That's all still wax. So I need to melt this off. And underneath the lines is white. <laughs> underneath the lines is white and underneath the flower petals is orange. And you can see I forgot to draw, uh, I forgot to split this into eighths. It's only split into fours on the side. It's supposed to be split into eighths like this side in the ends yeah i mean it was it was uh harder to do while i was helping three other ones but so i'm just gonna hold it up like this sophie can you um hold the phone for me so i can show them how i i'm gonna do it just <laughs> hold it on on my hands and not jack we are all getting very squirrely the boys are like getting very squirrely we had one um, mishap with the broken egg when it was almost done. <laughs> there were tears. Okay, so you can see it's getting really melted. It's getting really melted, and then I'm gonna wipe it. And then the orange is coming out. You see that? You can see where it's still waxy over here. And so I'm just gonna hold it up again where it's still got wax, and then I'm gonna wipe it again. And this part takes a long time too. So the whole process takes a long time. Like we've been doing these for over an hour. And a half. And a half. <laughs> and we haven't finished one egg. I think I might do one more though and make these guys go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna go to See? Bed. I, I so I've got... I wanna do another. So I've got white and orange and then the blue. Um, the dyes for these are awesome. Like they are made from this powder stuff. Um, and oh, Mary, I saw your question. I got these at Hearth Song, Heart Heart Song, or Hearth Song, whatever that kind of like creative kid um, toy magazine is. It was a kit, the Ukrainian egg decorating kit. How long do you have to let it dry between? Um, just a few minutes. Um, Hearth Song, yeah, thanks. Um, just a few minutes, Amy. It's like maybe. 
You leave it in the dye for three to five minutes depending on how long or how dark you want your colors. Um, I wish I would have left my orange in a little bit longer so my orange was a little bit brighter, but I didn't. So, so you can see how that is coming off and you can see my white colors and this is pretty much cleaned up. I might need to clean it a little bit more. And now, um, Noah, let me see yours for a second. Are you done burning off that one yeah, side? Yeah, pretty much. I'm done. You're actually. done. I'm pretty done. Much. I'm so done. Um, so now what we can do, Sissy, can I show Nick this one? Um, now what we can do, if we want to, is you can spray these with like a polyurethane, like, you know, that um, shiny stuff if you want to. I'm not planning on like keeping these. Um, and you know year after year, so I, we're Stop. probably not gonna not done. we're probably not gonna do that. Um, but if you are doing these with like blown eggs, then that's what that's what you would do to like preserve them and keep them, and then they get really shiny and they're really beautiful. Um, so that that's these are pasenkis. These are pasenki eggs. Um, we are going to go to we have a Russian museum of art. Um, Russian Art Museum, whatever it's called, we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna go to a demonstration on Saturday of them making these. So maybe if it works out, I will scope from there. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun little project. Very messy, definitely for older kids, but very fun. So, um, but we're about done here. Where did Jack go with his egg? I hid it. Why did you hide it? Um. So, but um, I think I'm gonna stay up and do one more. Um, is this part of your homeschool in the woods study? No. Yeah, it's a total. No, do not throw it. Oh my gosh. Um, it's a total. Let me see it. Oh wow. His is very. See, this is so Jack. He is very fine. So like where somebody else would make their lines thicker, he's very. See, all of that is wax. That all of those little lines are where the wax was. See, he's got a little wax. He needs to get off here. Um, but it works much better if you melt it. Um, no, Mary, so this is not, um, this is not part of like, um, uh, this is not part of history. This is just, I like to have some kind of country going all the time that we're kind of reading about or, um, just, you know, looking at a map of or whatever. And so this week we're talking about Russia and, um, we've been reading some books and, um, these are actually Ukrainian. Uh, this is a Ukrainian custom, so it's not exactly Russian, but, it's very close and very similar, very similar um, custom. So that's that's why we're doing it. Um, oh yes, and Sophie wants you to see. We also she made um, she made a couple of these. You should go get the jewel ones. Okay. They made these Fabergé eggs, and so these are more. Um, I think I'm saying that right. These are more like the Russian ones. Um, they did these in their in our little co-op class. So you know those um, really beautiful eggs that are up on stands. Um, those are more Russian and those were, um, maybe they still are, they probably still are, um, <coughs> they were given as gifts at, you know, all times of the year and, um, I know if you read about like Anastasia, um, <laughs> oh, Amy, you're like hooked on scopes now, um, yeah, so um, we love to read about Anastasia and Tsar Nicholas and, um, the last czar of Russia, and all of that is super interesting to us, or to me, and um, so anyway, they talk about Fabergé eggs in books about her, and um, that they gave them as gifts to each other, and they were very, very special, and then they would open kind of like a jewelry box, and they would keep special jewels in them or whatever, so this is just an easy little project. You can do this with any age. I didn't do this. They did this at co-op, so... So, okay, you guys, I am going to finish. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put my kids to bed because I'm ready for this to be therapeutic again. And it's a very fun craft if it's quiet and your kids aren't squirrely. <laughs> like, it's still fun, but it's like, oh, my gosh, just let's chill out. Yeah, Amy, like, you and I could sit and do this for hours. Um, oh, yeah. Um, we could sit and do this for hours. Not so much with our kids. Yes. They are. Suzanne, did you hear what I, um, I, I just said um, a couple minutes ago that I, we're going to go there on Saturday because I think they're doing a demonstration of these um, Pisankis. 
So yeah, I'm kind of excited. And so I, I'm sure at the Russian Museum of Art they're gonna have they're gonna have the Fabergé eggs too. Good night, Mom. So maybe that's what you meant. All right, good night, sweetie. Okay, I'm gonna go tuck my kids in and um, do another egg by myself. All right, you guys. See, this is this is what happens when you're having fun and um, staying up late and making <laughs> sanky eggs. And you know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do, Amy. I might dump out one of these mason jars fill her up. All right, you guys, I will check you later. Sophie, say goodnight. Bye. Uh-oh, we've got some, got some dye issues we got to clean up. All right, bye guys.